everybody. So today we are learning clauses. So I'm back with another English lesson and oh my goodness, what am I doing? Okay, so today I'm back with another English lesson. And in today's English lesson, we are going to be learning clauses. Okay, so now let's begin. Okay, so what is a clause? A clause is a group of words that contains a subject and a verb. Remember in our last class, we learned about uh, subject and predicate, and you know, the subject is the thing which that's intense, it's mainly focused about, it's mainly about. So, a group of words that contains a subject and verb, so that is a clause, I hope we have that clear. And now, and now these are two different clauses. So one clause is called an independent clause, which can make sense on its own. For example, I went to school, or uh, Katie brushed her teeth, or uh, mom, mom just came back from the market, okay? Those are all independent clauses, as is in class. Now, a depend clause is that it doesn't make sense on its own. Like, it needs someone to do that part for him. So, for example, Although I wasn't feeling well, uh, although I wasn't feeling well. So that is called a depend clause. Because if we remove, like, forget about this, I went to school part, just forget about this part. Wait, let me just cross it out. Let me, wait, let me take a highlighter and highlight this word for you. That contains a subject and a word. And it makes sense on its own, and it and it doesn't. And this one, it doesn't make sense on its own. Okay, wait. Okay, so just forget about this part, okay? Oh, and I don't want to highlight it. I'm highlighting it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Give me one second. Okay, now forget about this part. Okay. Now remember this part. Okay, so I went to school. That's a basic sentence. But now doesn't make sense on its own. This one doesn't make sense on its own. So now we have a sentence, although I wasn't feeling well. Okay, remember that this is a sentence, like the kid didn't complete it, the kid went out to play for lunch or something. Okay, so forget about that, I went to school part. Okay, although I wasn't feeling well. Now, does this, do you think this makes sense to you? Like, although what? What happened when you weren't feeling well? What? It doesn't make sense, right? This is called a dependent clause because it needs another verb or whatever. It needs another, it needs, a, it, it needs someone else to play its part. It can't play its part. It needs someone else to play its part. Like, although I wasn't feeling well, it would not make sense on its own. But if you add another extension to it, for example, yeah, for example, I went to school, although I wasn't feeling well, I went to school. Now, this is a complete thought, and we can also give another uh, uh, example. Oh, yes, and if you do not know. What is a connective? A connective is added to make the words longer, to make the sentence to it, to make the sentence longer. So and but or so are all connectives. Okay, so these are all connectives. And okay, oh yes, and main clause and everything are the same. So right now this is our and is our connective. Okay, now this we have a sentence. I like bananas and I like grapes. So now I like bananas is our main clause because we're mainly focused on that, right? We're mainly focused on that. And 
are connected with and because it's used to extend the sentence. And I like groups is also our main clause because it's also focused on that. Okay? So I hope you understand. I'm highlighting the important words for you. So we may be needing them after. Okay? And independent clause and a depend clause. Okay, now let's start. Oop. Different types of clauses. So we've already did depend clauses, but I want to recall this to you because I'm not sure if you understand it or not. But let's recall this depend clauses. Let's take a quick recap about dependent clauses and or sometimes. So as I told you, depend clauses cannot stand by themselves and it does not express a complete thought. Like if although I wasn't feeling well was not a complete thought, although what, although what happened when you weren't feeling well. And this is also another example, unless you want to go, unless you want to go what, it could be that uh, unless you want to go, I could I could come okay so now unless you want to go I could come so now this is a complete part Okay, this is a complete hop. Okay, I need to erase this all. Okay. Oh, pen. Okay, so cannot stand by yourself. So this we have here is not a complete hop not so we can basically call it not finished not finished so this is not a complete talk so now another sentence now this sentence has an independent clause and a dependent clause on the same on the same time so i must stop work now so this is an independent clause if you remove like forget this forget this part okay forget it. like i'm crossing it out forget all of this okay for example, if you only had this sentence, I only write this sentence, I must stop work now. So basically, it's an independent class because if I didn't add in, because it's not like if I didn't add another word to it, if I didn't add another extension to it, it wouldn't make sense. It, the, uh, an independent class, is a, it, it can make sense on its own. So it doesn't need another word to play its part. So I must stop work is a complete thought, but, but, but I have to go out. That is not a complete thought because where are you going? Are you going to the mall, market, friend's house, wherever? So this is not a complete thought. And what is our connective here? That's our connective. As is also a connective. Okay, so as is also a connective. So our connective is as. And also another sign, which is which is that like it's an independent, it's an, it's an depend clause, is that a depend clause always has a connective before it. Yes, it always has a connective before it. So this, I have to go out there to connective before it. So there's a sign that it's a dependent clause. Okay, let's go. 
Woo, it's fine. Now these are some examples and I want to guess which one is an independent clock and which one is a May uh, is a normal clause is a main class. Oh yes, and another word for an independent class is a subordinate class. Subordinate class, okay? So, number one, if you win the award, I will buy you a new video game. Okay, his mom said that if you win the award, I will buy you a new video game. Okay, so now, if you win the award, what is if you win the award? Is this our main class? Hmm? Well, let's have a little thinking here, okay? We have to use our brain here. Hmm, if I remove this, I will buy you a new video game, and I only kept I if you win the award, would it make sense? Like, what? Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't that boy's mom be, I, wouldn't that boy be curious that, hmm, what? What if I win the award? So this is called a independent class. Okay, so I'm just writing sub. Now, just uh, uh, see, there are two words. Now, one is also called subordinate class. So I'm just writing sub because it takes a lot of time to write subordinate class. And I will buy you a new video game is the independent class. It's the main. This is the main cause because it will make sense on its own. Since the sun will shine today, we will go to the beach, right? So now the independent clause, which is the subordinate clause, is since the sun will shine today because it will not make sense on its own if you remove this. And this is the main clause because, of course, it will make sense on its own because it's a complete thought. They have expressed a complete thought. Now, number three, I was hungry because I missed lunch. Now, here, I was hungry is a complete thought. It doesn't need another word to, to do its part for it. Like, even without this part, it would be completely fine. Okay? So, this is fine. Okay? Now, I'm writing a tick because this can make, it, because this can make sense on its own. Okay? Now, because I missed lunch, will it make sense on its own? Like what? What because you missed lunch? What because you missed lunch? Right, so this is not a complete thought. This is not a complete thought. So this is called an independent class and this is called a dependent class because they don't need other words to sound for it. Like uh, an ind a dependent clause does need it, but uh, an independent clause does not need a word. Okay. Now let's have a quick recap. Okay, I want to take out my laser pointer. Okay, now let's start. A main clause is a group of words that contains the subject and verb. Is that right? Is that right, you guys? That's right. It is right. Now, an independent clause is it makes sense on its own as it's intense. Is that true? What did we just learn? What did we just learn a few seconds ago? What is an independent class? That's right. It makes sense on its own as it's intense. And what is a depend class? That's right. It does not express a complete thought. Like, it needs an other word to play its part for it. Now, I hope you guys understood this. See you next time. Hope you learned something new today. Bye, everybody. I really enjoy teaching classes to you. Bye. See you soon. Okay. Bye, everybody. See you soon.